Hello Internet Jazza here, we're into the last few days of the French presidential election. Trey Exité, the debate between the centrist Emmanuel Macron and the far-right candidate Marine Le Pen just happened. And I just want to call attention to the fact that it was really nice that they coordinated their outfits, they were allowed to sit down and bring notes. I mean, the French are so much more chill about this whole debate thing than the Americans, it's awesome. If you want more information about how we got here and what the candidates themselves are like, then you can check out my video on the topic. But today I'm going to be talking to you about why you should be worried. Very worried. At least if you're a bleeding heart liberal like myself. After my spookily accurate ability to predict Trump's win and the Brexit result, a lot of you have been asking me to do the same thing for France. So here are five reasons why Marine Le Pen of the Front National is going to win. Reason number one, detoxification of her party. Marine Le Pen is Islamophobic and xenophobic. Ça c'est clair. But she's actually a watered down version of her father, Jean-Marie Le Pen, the ex-leader of the Front National, who got through to the final round just like her daughter did in 2017, in 2000. And two, and Jean-Marie takes the level of racism to a whole new level of drunken uncle at a family gathering. Je ne suis pas uh, raciste. He was actually expelled from the party in 2015 by his daughter because he just kept on insisting that Jewish people being killed by the Nazis in gas chambers in World War II were a detail of history. Just for the record, Jean-Marie really hates Jewish people. But Marine has done her best to detoxify the Front National, a process called de-diabolisation, which is the second hardest French word that I know. She's done this basically by getting the anti-Semites to shut up. The Islamophobes and the homophobes are still allowed to hang out though, like they're totes cool. This has led to excessive media coverage of Marine apparently being able to clean up the Front National's act and compared with the crazy that is her father, she does seem pretty sane and this has worked especially among young people who don't have those vivid memories of Jean-Marie doing that weird arm thing, which leads me on to my second reason why Marine is gonna win. Reason two, the youth vote. Trump and Brexit both split their respective nations by age, with older people more likely to vote for the orange monster and leaving the EU, and young people more likely to vote against. It's different in France. Marine is seen as the French version of Brexit and Trump, getting endorsements from the anthropomorphic Jack O'Lantern himself and the, the, the Daily Mail. But despite this, Young people love her. The FN has embraced young people and put them on the ballot paper. A number of their most prominent representatives are people under the age of 30. They've shifted towards the generation that has had no direct contact and direct memory of Jean-Marie Le Pen and, you know, embraced them wholeheartedly. In the first round of voting, the far-left candidate Jean-Luc Mélenchon got most of the youth vote at about 30%, but then it was Marine Le Pen at 21, beating Macron's 18%. This is only going to be a good thing for the Front National. Reason 3. Their governing experience. Unlike many extreme parties, especially across Europe, France's electoral system has allowed the Front National to be able to gain power across its legislature. And Broadly, they're proving that they're able to govern. They've won moralities in a dozen French cities and regularly come first in the primary round of voting in French elections. There was even one mayor in a city in France that decide, was so happy about the UK voting to leave the EU that he decided to name a road Rue de Brexit. And I'm, I'm sure that you can, you can guess how I felt about that. <laughs> Mm. They keep on being given chances to prove that, yes, they can indeed govern. Apart from all of that, you know, bikini stuff in the south of France recently, which actually nicely leads me on to my next point. Enforced secularism is the norm in France. The United States is a secular country, meaning that 
religion and government are supposed to be separated completely. And you'd never guess this from all of the God shit on their money and the oh God bless America things being thrown around left, right and centre and also their current president biting his tongue and having to be okay with this. Amen. The only two nations that have ever been in a relationship with God are Israel and the United States of America. Father God, in Yeshua's name, if you bring this man into the Oval Office, I speak your blessing yes. over him for the sake yes. of your people. Yes. I love that clip. Oddly, the UK has a state religion with the Queen as the head of it. You can thank Henry VIII and his inability to keep it in his pants for that. But we tend to be a lot more secular than the US. France is often described as prescribing a form of enforced secularism, meaning that religious symbols are banned in most public places, everywhere from courts to schools. This has caused friction among many French people, especially Sikh, Jewish and Muslim communities, but especially the latter, and I wonder why. But the fact that France is used to having these kinds of conversations has normalised their policies towards religious clothing, like the veil and even, yes, the burkini. The rejection of religion from public life makes it easier to justify policies that in many other countries would seem discriminatory. For example, in the UK, when UKIP proposed that they were going to ban the burqa, they were widely ridiculed by the majority of, well, sane press. But that's been policy in France for years. The final reason the Marine is going to win, she's the underdog. Across the West, people have gotten sick of mainstream politics and politicians. As I said in my video, Five Reasons Why Trump is Gonna Win, people just want to fuck shit up. Despite her long time in politics and Macron's relatively low level of experience, he's actually never held elective office. Marine has been able to maintain the insurgent outsider brand, the lady that's going to protect France, the French, and the Fifth Republic. And that's all stuff that resonates very strongly with the French people. Also, for goodness sake, Obama has just endorsed Macron. May I also remind you that he backed Hillary Clinton and the UK staying in the EU. Barry, it's not gonna work. I need, like, I need time. Please, it's not, just leave. En marche. Vive la France. I said earlier that the majority of young people in France voted for Mélenchon in the first round of voting. He ended up with about 20% of the national vote, but came fourth place, didn't go through to the second round. He's the only candidate who ended up not endorsing Macron. Macron being the only person standing between now and like a Front National president. Thanks, Jean-Luc. <laughs> it also turns out that 65% of Mélenchon supporters are either going to not turn out or they're going to spoil their ballots. Macron has just not been able to shake his identity as like an ex-banker and as an economist in the current president Francois Hollande's hugely unpopular administration. Macron looks set to win about 60% of the vote, with the remaining 40 going to Marine Le Pen. And even with the most generous of potential polling errors, he's still probably going to have a 10-point lead on the Front National leader. I think Marine loses in 2017, but the reason that I think she's going to win long-term, and the Front National is going to win long-term, is because they have uh, a detoxified brand, a strong youth vote, they have the outsider status coupled with their experience of governing and a French state that isn't scared to get involved in religious expression. Marine loses this time around, but I see her attack on the presidency for 2022, the next time we have this election for France, I see that as being generously lubricated. What do you think? Have I missed anything? Have I struck fear into your liberal heart? Because I, I certainly have. You should definitely also share this video to make other people scared.
What a stupid thing to ask people to do. This video was brought to you by my patrons on Patreon. Ian D, Laura K, Nicola G and Robert M. Thank you guys, you helped me to do this stuff. Uh, if you would like to support me, I'd appreciate it if you did, so that we can continue to make safe spaces to ch wag our chins about things, then at least check out my Patreon page. Check it out wherever that exclamation mark thing is. Now you can also subscribe. This Orbe face of me is what will allow you to do that. You can also watch this video, which has been selected by the algorithmic robots of YouTube, and they believe that your human, facile brains will like it. Feel free to let me know if they got it wrong. Alright, à la prochaine.